sometimes, as a vet, you have to sort out the fact from the fiction. I get asked all sorts of weird and wonderful questions about animals. Here's some of the common ones. See if you know the answers. You're not coming in because what? Cat flu? Cat flu can be a serious illness for these little guys. The good news for us is that it can't be passed on to humans. Cat flu is a common viral infection that resembles head colds in humans. It's usually caused by one of two viruses, which cannot infect us. Fortunately, there are annual vaccinations available for cats, which give good protection against these nasties. There, Lola. I'm knitting you a lovely scarf in all your favourite colours. On this one, Granny's only half right. Tests have shown that dogs probably see the world in yellow, blue and different shades of grey. Red, probably not. We can see colour due to the presence of light receptors on our retina, called cones. But dogs don't have as many cones as us and therefore can't see the full spectrum of colours. Hendrix, eat your lentils, man. Dogs and cats were not designed to eat vegetarian diets. In the wild, their diet is a combination of animal proteins, fats and carbohydrates. A diet lacking animal protein can result in dietary deficiencies and lead to serious health problems. At the same time, it's unhealthy to feed all meat, so it's best to stick to a balanced diet to make sure that your pet is in top condition. You ready? Go for it. This is one of those yes and no questions. Yes, they can have milk occasionally, but not the sort that we drink. Isn't that right, Oscar? Milk contains the sugar lactose, some cats can't break this down in their intestines, which can cause stomach upsets and even diarrhoea. If you really want to give your cat milk, then stick to lactose-free varieties. I'm sure we've all heard this one, and it's not entirely true. A dog's nose is normally moist, and a dry nose does often correlate with illness. However, a wet or dry nose isn't always a reliable indicator of what's going on inside your dog. So always check with your vet if you're not sure. I hear this one all the time from pet owners, especially the ones that say that their pet never leaves the property. And the answer is always yes. You ready? Even if your pet never mixes with other animals, it can still be at risk of infection. Some viruses can be present in the air or on clothes. Mosquitoes can spread heartworm and intestinal worms can be present in lizards or mice your pet catches in the backyard. So vaccinations are a must. People often tell me that their pet is putting it on to get attention. This couldn't be further from the truth. In the wild, animals that show illness become targets for attack. Domestic pets are no different and would rather hide an illness than show it. For this reason, if your pet is showing any signs of illness, visit your local vet ASAP. So there you go, just some of the questions that I get asked as a vet, and I'm sure there's lots more. Let us know if there's anything you're not sure about. Yeah.